Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of execution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the leveling leg in a GE dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a 5 8 open end wrench, 5 16 inch nut driver, quarter inch nut driver, and a pair of large pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new leveling leg. The leveling legs adjust the dishwasher's height, allowing to fit into the cabinet opening. The main reasons why the leveling leg would need to be replaced is if it gets corroded or the threads get stripped, making it impossible to adjust the dishwasher's height. To get to the part, we need to open the door. To remove the dishwasher, we need to take out a couple of Phillips screws that uh, hold it to the countertop. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve, just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open-ended wrench, take off the water line. Then using the 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen up the hose clamp and remove the drain hose from the air gap. Be careful. There is still some water inside the holes. Use the container or the towel. All right, now we're gonna pull out the dishwasher. I'm gonna hold it here and slowly pull it out. Lift it up. Now we're gonna tilt this uh, dishwasher back and kind of jam it under the counter. So make sure it's not gonna slide down on the floor. Now we need to remove this uh, kick panel. Uh, there's two quarter inch screws, one in each corner. I'm going to take them out using the nut driver and simply take it off. To remove the leveling leg, we need to turn it clockwise if you look from the top or counterclockwise if you look from the bottom of the leg. If it's, uh, if it's not jammed, you can use your hands and do it manually. But if it's jammed, then you need to use the pliers. And first, you can spray some rust buster. Now I'm going to make a few turns. And I can go manually. It's pretty much straightforward procedure. This is the old leveling leg next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. We're going to place a new leg in. Just uh, put it into the opening and turn it clockwise looking from the bottom of the leg. Look on the opposite side and uh, leave it about the same length. So I'm going to place the kick panel on and leave it uh, just to clear the legs and uh, we're going to secure it with the quarter inch screw. One on each side. Right now, I'm going to put it, uh, put the dishwasher upright, and we can uh, place it under the counter. Now, I'm going to duck under the counter and pull out the drain line, water supply line, and the power cord. And we can continue installing the dishwasher. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten it using 5 8 open ended wrench. And then we can take out the towel and the container. Connect the drain hose to the air gap and tighten the clamp with the 5 16 inch nut driver. And next, we're going to secure the dishwasher to the countertop with a couple of Phillips screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. And I'm going to tie it up so it wouldn't go anywhere. 
and now we can close the door. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in, and check if it's leveled properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.